There. Yes. This is the first episode where I forgot to hit record on the microphone. The whole time? All that footage we just That recorded? whole time. That whole time. It's all gone. This mic, you hit it once and it puts it on standby. Listen, and you hit record the second no time. We don't want I, to I thought it was no running. Excuse. Oh, shit. Because I got stoned and I forgot to hit record. How ironic. First 20 minutes oh, we just watched. You drop the ball. <laughs> 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 you landed right on my leg. Sorry. Uh -oh. Oh, it's a Charlie horse. We can try it again. Oh, oh no. I off with a wound. <laughs> Ow. Neck card of the mobs. <laughs> <laughs> so needless to say, uh, weed is legal now. Yeah, we smoked a joint before doing this one. I didn't. Okay. <laughs> you supplied it. It wasn't mine. You bought it online. No, I didn't. You liar. I didn't lie about anything. I didn't buy anything. You Frank rolled had it. it. You it's rolled it. So I rolled it. That doesn't mean shit. It's true. But anyway, it doesn't even matter. Okay, I picked a movie for today. Fair enough. F***ing suck. And random decision, it ended up being one of yours. Dead and Breakfast. That's a good one. Dead and Breakfast. It's a good 3D. one. Yeah, it's a good one. That? I believe so. I know Bobby T's a big fan. Oh yeah, I love that movie. You know what? I bought that on a total whim. Okay, before it was Stars Entertainment, it was Anchor Bay. Right. They started re-releasing all the classic <laughs> horror films, the Evil Dead movies, the Hellraiser films, all those movies. Anytime I saw Anchor Bay on an independent horror movie, I bought it. Doesn't matter right. what it was, I didn't know anything about it. I would just buy it because it's the only company that I would support that way. I bought Lightning Bug from them. I think so, we actually pitched Mulch to Anchor Bay at a booth in Toronto. Anchor Bay gave life to a lot of really bizarre ideas and, and opportunity to make them like viewed by, by everyone. Dad and Breakfast is the story of a group of friends embarking on a road trip to a wedding when they take up stay at a bed and breakfast that becomes a crime scene. What? Yeah. Apparently the owner of the B&B was a watcher of a captive ancient curse that is let loose and turns people into zombies. You're reading that terribly. Maybe you should stir from the top. <laughs> 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 this movie played at independent film festivals in 2004 and 2005 before its North American video release on September 6, 2005. It was directed by Matthew... I don't know how to say his last name. Luttweiler. Luttweiler. How would you say that? Luttweiler. 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 It was Why directed... Why did that turn into like an Italian sounding last name? <laughs> Luttweiler. No. Luttweiler. No, it's your It's yeah. me, a warrior. It was directed by Matthew Luttweiler. <laughs> Luttweiler. Luttweiler. And featured David Carradine, his niece Ever Carradine, Jeremy Sisto from Wrong Turn, and Jeffrey Dean Morgan who plays Negan in The Walking Dead. Yes. Jeffrey Dean, what? It's been a while since I've seen this movie. And I, I watched this movie a bunch and I've never caught that. It currently holds a rating of 5.8 out of 10 with 5,542 votes on IMDb. The total budget of this movie was $500,000. That's cheap. The guy from Walking Dead and... David Carradine. How did they did that for $500,000? I'm not sure how much it made, as I couldn't find any info online about it. This is the first movie I searched. Did not know how much money this movie made. I'm so stoned, it's very hard for me to type in IMDB right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is why the budget was $500,000. <laughs> because all these big scenes, they just drew a picture of it <laughs> and flashed it across the screen. They could have got Darren to draw it. Look at this, Darren. You can do way better than this shit. Three squirrels, one coyote, a rabbit, fun one. What the f is this? A roadkill. He's keeping a list on his roadkill. Didn't you used to take pictures of roadkill? Okay, I am into some sick f***ing shit. I own a hearse for f***'s sakes. And I have never, ever taken pictures of roadkill. Because there ain't nothing good to look at in roadkill. I got video footage where we're driving. You make me stop. You grab the camera and you run out. And you run up to a piece of roadkill, and you just go like this with your hand on top of it. Like, like your hand is doing the force to bring it back to life. No way. And then you go, oh my god, I can't take it. Holy f And you run away. <laughs> I also have you doing that to a turd on the ground. 
Like you try to bring it back to its initial state. Here. Hey, all right. You like the music that much, huh? <laughs> Bob just kidding. It's for, for the gas, right? Is this the David Carradine's niece? That is David Carradine's niece, yes. Look at her nose. That's a Carradine nose. Oh, hey, sorry. Here's, Here's your guy. Oh, this dude. I don't light him. It's cool, I don't light him. It looks like everybody that asked me for a dart outside of my f***ing tattoo shop every day. You know what I hate? When people ask to buy one off you. <laughs> hey man, uh, can I buy a dart off you? If you can afford to buy one off me, why don't you save up and buy your own goddamn pack of smokes? <laughs> or an extra smoke. Like, like don't act I like you're gonna f***ing pay me because you were never intending to give me money in the first place. Yeah. You expected me to just be like, oh no man, don't worry about it. But the next time I'm gonna be like, yeah, you're right man. I want four bucks. Make it a land. Give it extra smoke. Hey, hey, man, you got an extra smoke? Extra? Like, I bought this pack hoping to give you one? Yeah, there's no extra. You know what? For Clean up your 10 act. years of buying cigarettes, I finally got that one pack that came with extras. <laughs> it was like a promotion. Okay. Yeah, They're like, now with for real? extra smoke. For real? No. <laughs> there's, there's a little pouch on the side. Can I bomb those four extra smokes on You already there? have tonight, bud. <laughs> You already have. It's like as bad as Frank reading the intro. If we even have that f***ing saved anymore, because the asshole doesn't know how to press play. But all I'm, I'm saying just, is people just, say marijuana doesn't affect the memory. <laughs> Bullshit. Who's this guy? What's his name? Hey, how would you like it if I piss in your soup? I believe once upon a time, we went through this. Go to a dream sequence with no audio. I believe his name is actually Dietrich Bader. Bader? Are you joking? I am not joking. Dietrich Bader. That's a horrible name. I think if my name was Dietrich Bader, I wouldn't want to do anything. He's done a f ton of shit and he does a lot of voice work. And he was also in Drew Carey, of course. What if your name was Dilbert? <laughs> what would your buddies call you? Dilly. Dilly? Then it's just Bert. If your parents name you Dilbert, <laughs> Bert, they hate you. You're predetermining your kid's future by what you name them, yes. just so you know. So name them something cool, like f***ing Thor. Hello there. So here's David Carradine. We talked about him earlier. Kung Fu Legend continues, he's supposed to be this Kung Fu master, he's like, slowest Kung Fu moves. Yeah. Like, give me a f***ing break, dude. He's always doing some, he's always doing katas. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Among Buddhists. Some believe that box brings good fortune. He's got like a cadence like Christopher Walken. He does. Like you can't f***ing true. emulate it. No. And people when they write parts, they just know he's gonna talk like that. I feel like Christopher Walken, William Shatner, and Dan Carity all went to the same acting class. What, bad acting class? The Darren acting class. Yeah. Where you take a sentence and you drag it up for five minutes. <laughs> This is a funny sequence. This is some good, uh, that's some Three Stooges shit here. Yeah, that's what I see you doing. I think this dude is like the star of the show. Me too. His, his acting is, is I, he's selling it to me that he's a Italian jock, tough guy. Yeah. That just keeps f***ing up. I'm good. I'm good. He's my favorite character in this. He's actually like uh, the scaredest one in the bunch, and he did fucking awesome. Ow! He's having a heart attack. Oh. We don't have a budget for you anymore. Uh, we gotta kill him off. Take care. He's done. And who's this, Bobby T? Where the fuck are you? Portia de Rossi. She's married to Ellen. What? She's Ooh, really pretty. It's so, funny to believe that she'd be in a movie like this, though. Like five hundred thousand dollars. We have her, we have Jeremy Sisto, David Carradine, uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, Jeffrey Deidre Dean Morgan. Bader. 500 grand? How do you get that many people in a movie for 500 grand? The whole reason why zombies happen is because of this scene right here. Uh oh. The fucking receipt for that shoebox. Japanese, we don't know what it says. Johnny, stay away from that box. It feels like deja vu. And it's a girl under 18. If you touch the box, it's trouble, if you know what I mean. I said, oh, Johnny, stay away from that box. Don't touch it, Johnny. <laughs> funny. All these songs in here, man, are super catchy. It's all about drinking. Uh, but he's f***ing possessed. 
gonna cause some shit here right now. You come. Last that's that's cool. Yeah, that's pretty good actually. It's a little over the top, which is nice, right? Really good for 500 grand. You know, really impressive. Dude, man. Yeah, he's good. His facial expressions and his movements. Yeah. He knows how to eat up the frame, too. <laughs> Holy shit. Obviously, you gotta kill off all the actors that cost the most. I yeah, like this guy. He's like, what should I do? Put your hands in the air and go rah. Yeah, I know. I just always think it's funny when extras in zombie movies act so stupid. Like they've never seen one before. Yeah. Act like a zombie. Like, <clears throat> yeah. Like you're that bad. Oh my god. What the heck happened back there? Why? I don't know. I don't know. He, Johnny, whoever the f that was, he walked in with the guy with the pruning shears and the chick with the foaming mouth and they just started f***ing everyone up. And then the people like got f***ed up, they started getting up off the floor and then they started f***ing everyone else up. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> that scene was always funny. Hmm. I think we should shut the f*** up! That's a pretty terrible crossover again. <laughs> Yeah, it could be worse. Huh. Could be better. It could be worse. It could be perfect. You know, when we were making mulch. It could be perfect. Whatever. The <laughs> oh, skin tone was a little off. Oh my god. I've been waiting Whatever. for the moment that I could show this. Don't talk about it. Okay, you know in Dead Alive, when they do their death scenes. <laughs> The actress is wearing long sleeves, and there'll be a shot where her sleeve will pass in front of her face. Then they cut, they put a dummy head that looks just like her, and pass the camera with the sleeve again, and then they'll rip the head back, and they'll edit within the blur of the sleeve in front of the camera. And I said, that's what we should do for mulch. The guy turns around and looks, I'll pass the camera, and then we'll cut his head up for the guitar. It'd be great. So we did a cast of his face, and it came out, and it looked all right. And then Darren said, give it to me, and I'll make it look like the actor. And I went... Okay, here you go. And the day we were shooting, he brought this thing, and I looked at it. Oh my god, there was no way I could do this shot now. Not even lying, the worst dummy head I've seen ever in my life on any movie to actually look like the actor. But I didn't want to tell him that when we were shooting because I felt bad because he tried. Oh, hey. I'll tell you. That was under a two day oh my delivery. God. It was like a couple weeks. No. Because like... I kept asking him, how's it coming? And I know he didn't do anything until two days before. And then went, oh, f And took a glue gun <laughs> and some paint and like turned this thing into the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen in your life. Like, it was so bad. It was brutal. <laughs> I, I can't believe I've never seen this. <laughs> oh my god, oh, disgusting. When you say the color's off, it was for Dan, wasn't the it? The color's it was off? Was, yes. Darren's is like straight up white or something. Or the yeah. color was like pink. No, pink. the color is not even the worst not, part of it. Not even, <laughs> not even, one eye is looking this way. <laughs> one eye is looking this way. It's that bad. I was trying to be funny. You were trying to be funny? It wasn't meant to be funny. It was supposed to look realistic. Say, David. Did you ever tell Kate that you f***ed my cousin? That is so wrong. What the hell did he say? Nothing, nothing, baby. He didn't say none of these guys possessed for Christ's sake. So you gonna listen to him? All right, you ready for this? Look oh at my God, you're still going off of Look how tight that is. What is it? Oh my God. Your, your buddy must have been really impressed with what you thought his likeness <laughs> was. <laughs> It's so bad. Yeah! <laughs> that is so stupid. <laughs> really close, Darren. Let me see it again. Did you honestly, when you made that, you thought it looked pretty good? I was so disappointed when he showed up with that on set. I looked at him and I thought, all that time, I went to my dentist, but I borrowed Alginet from him. We did the cast, we did the cement thing. We got all that and all we had to do was paint it. And this is what he brought. Did like, he put the eyes in and shit? Yes, it's glue gun. All that's glue? That's all glue. glue. Look at all the glue gun smear. Oh look at this. Look at he's got the worst complexion known to man. And he just painted those 
Oh my god. Oh, look how bulging they are! <laughs> What's with the teeth? What are the teeth made out of? They look rotten. That's incredible look, detail. But look at Dan's yeah. teeth. Yeah. And then <laughs> Are they are they popsicle sticks glued in there, painted? <laughs> Send so it to bad. me. It's so <laughs> bad! That would terrify a child. That is Hilarious. <laughs> we kept Send this it for me. years. This sat in Joel's barn to scare people. That's oh. hilarious. So bad. Oh, well. Ah, ventriloquism with Christian's head. Don't shoot, it's me. Ha, Christian's dead. Have they shot anybody with these pipes yet? Did I miss that? Yeah, they shot a couple. There's one they shoot and its whole head explodes. They're like, but there's never been a better time for joining my. Now! We spent some money on this movie, man. Like, yeah, $500,000. It's really well done. I love the illustrations. Quentin Tarantino and Robert Rodriguez probably borrowed a lot from this. I doubt it. <gasps> There's always some excuse for not wanting to talk about these things. I think defending ourselves from being possessed by a demon spirit that's now inhabiting your best friend's cousin ranks pretty damn high on the list of good excuses for not wanting to analyze our relationship right now. Did you see the vaccination scar on his arm? No. Like the round scar, you know, like how all our parents have for when they got vaccinated. Is that right there? Yep. Yeah. Vaccination scar. Yep. Come on. Yeah. It looks like a little is that what eyeball. That is? Yeah, dude. Yeah. My dad has one on his arm, so does my mom. My mom has one too. What is in that vaccination that scarred everyone? Jesus Christ. Yeah, I know. How hard are you jabbing that, that, that needle? Branded. What are they doing? Ah. Uh, oh, they're dancing. Oh, here's your part, Bobby T. Yeah, it's good. That is what bothered me with this movie. I thought really? that was unnecessary. No, I thought it was fun. I think that takes it to spoof level, and this movie isn't spoof level. You heard me. Are you possessed or not? No, I ain't possessed. You? No, I ain't possessed. And look at the blood on this guy's shirt. Does that look like it's been applied? <laughs> it looks like somebody painted it on with a paintbrush. In this movie's defense, Darren, if you made it, it would probably be have hot glue all over it. Yeah, mm. hot glue and googly eyes. What's in the lunchbox, Marilyn Manson? Haribo. Cola. Cola, like, uh... Is that like a... Like root beer. Dip and rip. Three. Holy shit. Oh, is it? Yeah. Greedy beans. Oh, man. Greedy <laughs> beans. <laughs> <laughs> That was good. Yeah. That chick took part of his, what's it called? DNA? DNA. So if you take a hair or DNA, blood, and you put it in that box. Any part of you. They become one of the monsters, right? Had I known it was going to feel this good to bash your brains in, I would have done it a long time ago. You know, even if I watch a movie that's not that good, and it's got a pretty decent chainsaw sequence, I can learn to love that movie. <laughs> This movie, it's got a pretty good chainsaw sequence. Even though the bar still looks so cheesy when it's in his neck, but it's still pretty entertaining. <laughs> that rubber bar. <laughs> and like, he is. Who's pulling that trigger? No one's pulling the trigger, but it's super bloody and ridiculous, so that's what makes it entertaining. <laughs> you know, I will say one thing. You have to have a real dedicated actor to take that much blood and keep coming back. <laughs> finally, <laughs> after all these years. Until he finally went hopelessly mad. Those are the two ultimate effects of this thing. Dead and breakfast, baby T. Oh, I love this movie. You know, really feels like a dead alive or an evil dead kind of thing. So yeah, I don't know if I'm giving it a one out of ten. I'm gonna give it a seven. Seven? I'm gonna give it a seven. Yeah. For an independent movie that was made for 500 grand, I thought they did an excellent job. They had some big names. It's kind of like a, a hidden gem. On a scale of numbers, 7.3. Because I love this illustrative look. You have this like glimpse into what's gonna happen through art. You have these little pop-ups like this. At the end credits. This is the menu. Or, yeah, whatever. I, I really, I really like that. I give it a five. Shit! I was gonna give it a 4.8 because I didn't think it was worthy of a five. But the fact that it was made on $500,000 is 
pretty impressive. But does it make a good movie? Like, I watch it at any time. I wouldn't say that. I think the part that I have a hard time with is it plays it seriously, but it goes a little too far over the top at times, which is fine if you're always going to live over the top. But this movie set its standard in a regular time and played out like that, but crossed over to a little spoofy. You're funny. Why am I funny? Because you made a statement earlier on, just because it's a bad movie doesn't mean that it's a bad movie. Oh, it's not bad. I own this movie. I like this movie. Any movie that we watch on any of these shows, whether I give it a rating of a 5 or a 10 or a 2, I actually like the movie. But so you would think that a quality of it being over the top was what? Poorly done or something? No, it's not poorly done. Well, it was made well. Mean? It's impressive what they pulled off in the budget they had. But <laughs> when it comes to like a script, like this is a story too, right? I felt like it crossed genres where it part of it wants to be like scary movie. <laughs> And part of it wants to be like Tucker and Dale versus Evil. Hi. Hello, officer. Good to see you again. Yeah. We have had a doozy of a day. A real doozy. That's a line when you cross that line back and forth. It's very hard to accomplish. And I don't think this movie accomplished it as good as I've seen others. But does that mean it's a bad movie? Absolutely not. Thanks for watching. Blood got some booze. Woo woo. Would you like a reference? Okay. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Thanks for watching Blood, Guts, and Boobs. I don't care. You f***ing suck at these. Let me try it again. I like just the cringe at the fact educate, that educate, I have to ask you to do one next. Me a well, you don't have to tell me ten times. I can figure it out after the second one. Hello, everybody on planet Earth. We're just going to send you one simple message. Thanks for watching Blood, Guts, and Booze. <laughs> Check out our Facebook page and Instagram. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And let us know what you guys want us to watch. And maybe we'll watch it next time for you. Until next time, cheers. cheers. I don't even know what we're talking about.